So we just made our way down from the place of Concord, the Concord, and uh, we're heading sort of out towards the river a little bit. The Louvre Museum is just over that way, but um, we're just going to go out by the edge of the Seine over this, just over this wall from the park. across to the river. past the Louvre Museum, the main building, the uh, pyramid shaped building that's also associated with the Louvre is on the other side. Okay, so we're just heading over towards the Notre Dame Cathedral, see how the restoration job's going after the fire. So we'll uh, peel out in the center here, see if we can get some views on it. There's a little bit of scaffolding around the other side, but uh, from this side it's looking remarkably in fine condition. They've done a really nice job on it.
So there's a lot of pictures going on here of uh, what they're doing on the restoration by the look of it. Oh, look at the interior, interior scaffolding. Like uh, an absolute maze. It uh, certainly looks like they're bringing it back to life. Certainly a massive project to undertake. And you can see all the new roof timbers going in up there. there. And they're reconstructing the spire with timber. Right up through there, the maze of scaffolding is uh, like enough as nothing you've ever seen before. That must have been a work of art putting that lot up. Another angle on the cathedral restoration. Saw some very, very nice cafes down along here. Probably for an expensive coffee if you want to overlook uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Although a pint of blonde down there is four, four euros, so it's not too expensive. Yep. So there's plenty of reminders on this one. And what is happening in 2024 is Paris is owed in the Olympic Games, which is, uh, I think it's been like something like a hundred years since the last time they held it. So it's all going on in Paris this year. Paris 24. I think uh, some people are actually getting excited about it. They're dancing around here. <laughs> This is the actual town hall. It's all decorated up with the Olympic logos. Look at that. Goes up here from vintage clothing to LP records, all the vinyl. CDs, wow. postcards. Take a look up some of these little uh, soy streets. In Paris. Whoa, this 
looks a bit bright. I bet they think of this one. Oh my goodness me, look how bright that is.
So we got down to the metro station and uh, we're going to head down to the Eiffel Tower from Ballard. So we've been up to the Hard Rock Cafe and uh, we're out and about in Paris again this afternoon. The winds of change someday might bring you back to see the remnants of the man that you once had. But if you look beyond the smile and the wind, so I think we're in the right place. I think. Ooh, Jesus. It's all getting a bit sketchy in the underground in Paris. It was squeak. Squeak around the tires. Okay, well, we're going to end up now. Oh, we're heading up. Oh, we're heading up. Back up to civilization. Just look for the Eiffel Tower. There it is. I can see it. Straight ahead. Let's go. streets with markets. Look at all this lot. Jesus. Anyway, we're heading towards the Eiffel Tower. That's where we're heading. Right down on the bottom, looking up. So we're peeling all round and we're getting pretty close to the base. Oh, I'd get there, look. Like, across, across. Yeah, either way, either way, whatever way you want to do. We'll, um, just, we're just going to peel around this little park. It's normally a water feature here, I think, but we'll uh, get in the vicinity. Try and give you some sort of perspective is <laughs> absolutely all awe inspiring, I must admit. When you get this close, this building, this construction, So as we're approaching the underneath, it's uh, just sort of really difficult to get a perspective on how big this is. Tower. I think we bought one about 10 years ago. Come on, one there they are. Like. So it's 216 days to go. Two hours, 47. The countdown is on to the Olympic Games in Paris. So we're just coming to a uh, pretty iconic underpass in Paris. And if I just raise the camera up slightly, you can see the memorial.
favourite little shops in Paris is the Creed shop. Look at this Creed shop. I wonder if they'll let me in with the camera. I'm going to go and have a look. So we've entered the Creed shop and what a monumental shop this is. 